get a degree, let us make it free. Um, today I'm going to discuss the debt that many pay for a college education that should be free to all. I got in. My acceptance letter arrived. Um, I thought I was going to have a heart attack before I even opened the letter. And I had to reread it and reread it. And I was like, wait, what? I got in? And I knew I already met the requirements for attending Northern. And but it just seemed so surreal. Um, I'm a first generational college student and it seemed like it was still out of my reach. And I can't even express how excited I was getting accepted to college, especially my college of my choice. I wanted to go to Northern and be close to home still. And um, I'm sure everyone can relate to that feeling, the excitement and um, the nervousness that you got accepted to where you wanted to go and the that you have the ability to further your education. High school is a major accomplishment, but um, most jobs now are requiring a college degree of some sort. And um, those who are able to continue their education ha definitely have an advantage. Um, you know, those who enjoy learning, want to better themselves, better their financial um, situation for their family for them um, however not everyone can afford to go to college and do those things and this is where I begin today my purpose is to explain the reasons why I think college education should be free in the United States um, this would allow for the expansion of um, education to take place, so many more people would be going to college and would be able to um, if they were given the access to it. And going from there, then um, with that expansion, it would allow for people to become more social, socially responsible and have the ability to contribute to our community. So let's talk. Why do we even need a college degree other than what I've already listed about bettering yourself? And um, it really almost always comes down to money. Um, unfortunately, that's how we have to look at it and the society that we live in today um, to just make it. But according to U.S. USA Today, um, Christopher Rugabar found data collected um, by the Economic Policy Institute, which is a nonprofit um, located in DC, and that on average, um, those who have a college degree make 56% more than those without a college degree, um, only a high school diploma. So, and that was in 2015. And that number had risen from 51% in like the late 1900s, 1999. While um, employers requiring college degrees have been on the rise um, and giving the ability, giving them the ability to make more money, um, education has also been on the rise as well. Out of all non-housing um, debt in the United States, student loans makes up more than 1.4 trillion dollars um which is more than credit card debt and auto loans um, students are coming out of college thousands and thousands of dollars in debt um while becoming financially literate and um, paying off your loans is important students simply cannot pay it back in a timely manner let alone um even deal cope with the stress of being in debt nobody likes being in debt and um they have they get out and they have a period before they have to start paying they might not find a job right away um just because you do have the degree does not mean that there are jobs available where you're at right now um so with other bills like paying your phone bill insurance your car insurance um a home you know i 
all of that adds up and it becomes an enormous burden. So next I'm going to discuss the benefits that could come from switching college education from absurdly expensive to affordable for everyone. So with cutting the cost of a college education, it allows for the expansion of education to occur. And that, I mean, that alone only benefits our society. Um, college graduates are more likely to obtain and keep a job. They can keep, you know, they have no issue getting a job and they can keep it. Um, they also have, they're more likely to be able to own a home and um, have a retirement fund set up like a 401. So how can we make this happen? Um, the two major points that I wanted to discuss was um, there are places that, you know, that are already beginning outside of the country especially, but that are beginning to set up programs and funds um, to make college free and affordable for everyone. Um, vote. So this is a way that you can do that. You can vote for politicians in your area in the United States that um, are interested in making education free for everybody and accessible for everybody. Um, for example, Bernie Sanders, he's gotten a lot, um, yeah, because he is all about college for all. And um, he discussed passing a bill, which is the College for All Act, um, which would provide four-year colleges, tribal colleges, um, trade schools, etc., with a minimum of $48 billion a year to allow them to make it free. Um, and, you know, he discusses other programs, too, that he can put in place and um, begin that help you know, increase funding for low-income families, for students with disabilities, um, and even especially first-generational college students. So another example is the Kalamazoo Promise. Um, I had already heard about it. Somebody did comment on my post and also mentioned it. Um, and that is really interesting because they, you know, a lot of people are like, well, no, it's not possible. Nobody can do it. People have already been doing it. The Kal Kalamazoo Promise, um, first was announced in 2005 and um, it's funded by anonymous donors and you have to just meet the requirements to be eligible and it's free. So, you know, students have gone to a Kalamazoo public school for at least four years, been in the district, um, all of that. And I think there's, you know, they're becoming, a, they're coming up with more ways to get around um, having this absurd burden on students. So another thing I wanted to touch on was that people say free education will lead to useless degrees. And I disagree. Um, this will lead to a much more rewarding, financially stable lifestyle that you wouldn't otherwise be able to most often get. Um, and those who don't want to further their education and they don't want, they don't want to do that, they often won't. Um, so degrees might change, but usually, you know, it will just, people will just adjust. Um, it won't be useless. So today was my purpose. My purpose was to explain why college education should be free. Um, and the most basic point is that it allows for the expansion of education um, to take place. And then with that expansion, it would also allow individuals to become more socially responsible and be able to have the ability to contribute to our society and make it better. With voting for candidates um, that support free college education, um, furthering, you know, following programs that have been in place and doing well and refinancing, we can make college education free. Um, our future is the youth and they, we all, deserve the access to higher education. I am a first generational student myself. While college hasn't been easy and it's not supposed to be, um, I'm so thankful that I've had the ability to attend. And then I almost forgot, um, I also had a few, my printer was acting up, but a few graphs also that just um, show you the absurd <laughs> increase of student loan debt. Um, throughout the years and it's talking about you know average annual federal borrowing among undergraduates fall freshman enrollment um and there's just a lot out there that i was coming across but there's no way that we can't make it free